evaluator. And oh, where is it? It's absent. Why am I doing this? So, okay, back to Jenny. Uh, I'm still, I'm still give my evaluator. Okay, first off, let's have a brief review of his. Why are you here? His um, speech uh, tonight. First, he compared China's uh, economy status with Taiwan a few years ago. In that time, um, in Taiwan, if you have a college degree, it was like a guarantee for your promising future job. And then he said, the GDP doesn't represent the happiness. He gave us exact example that about Panama, which ranked 87 on the uh, GDP, yeah, and the first place in the sense of happiness. And then he told us that students in Taiwan will, won't overwhelm ourselves on study because we already realize that the getting a degree isn't the only path to, su uh, to success. And last but not least, his conclusion told us what really mattered isn't the comparison. It was our own value that really matters. And here are some suggestions. But, well, okay. Um, I was going to say I'm, I'm going to give you a really, really big thumbs up because you've done all those speech without your CC manual. And I've talked to Demi, it's probably because you're absent just like now. So I probably have to take my thumbs up back. Sorry. And I don't know why were you taking your script on the stage? Because you didn't even use it. Have anyone noticed he brought his script on the stage? He didn't even use it. So my suggestion is at least pretend that it, it is your visual aid that like diploma. So the audience won't think that you're not really well prepared. Just pretend, um, don't let the audience think you're well, not well prepared. Okay, I, I don't really care about time, so you can put that down. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to tell the audience that you're confident, at least pretend like what I'm doing now at this at least I prepared some, some script, okay. And about the slides, I've just warned him that he might get lost on with his slides because when I asked him, are you familiar with your slides? And he said, probably. And he just act what I expected. He just went completely lost and forget to switch his slides. So my suggestion is next time, he can probably put some notes on his script so he can know when to switch his slides or just abandon it to use the, the PowerPoint because it might distract yourself. And, um, okay, since he's not here, so I'm going to make my own opinion about his speech. Uh, as a conclusion of my evaluation, I'd like to thank him for bringing up the awareness of the competitiveness of our nation. Because I've also read some certain articles talking about that students in China are craving for resources like wolves, and students like us in Taiwan are like sheep. But are we really always putting ourselves in such defensive position? Why don't we ask ourselves, have you put enough effort on your study? Have you cultivated any interest in your free time? What is your attitude toward your life? Young people are no doubt the, na uh, the future of our nation, so does Taiwan really fall behind China? I think the answer has already shown itself. Back to GE.